Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite products from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I saw a video earlier this day from Dolly Mama Beauty talking about how e.l.f. is actually having a 50% off sale on their website, and I was like, that's incredible. I had no idea, like, they did sales that big and i do have quite a few products from elf that i really like and i really recommend so i thought this would be the perfect time to go over my favorites and talk about what i would suggest getting during the sale i'm not sure how long the sale is actually going to run for i looked on the website and i looked around i couldn't tell when so i'm actually going to film this and get this uploaded within like 24 hours just so if you do want to take advantage of the sale you can and if not you can still use this as reference for my favorite e.l.f. products because these are all still affordable even without the 50% off sale. It's just that sale is incredible. <laughs> so I would recommend jumping on it, especially if you haven't tried e.l.f. and you really want to try some products out. Before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like recommendation videos and you want to see any more in the future. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Okay, so I actually have six products that I would recommend from e.l.f. and the first one are their primers. E.l.f has really good primers and they're really affordable you can get like a jumbo size of their primer for like ten dollars which during the sale would only be five dollars the normal primers are about six dollars so during the sale it'd be three dollars definitely worth it my favorite are the hydrating primer which is like the one in the blue bottle and then their pore filling primer which is the one in the pink bottle i really enjoyed the pore filling primer it really fills in your pores it really helps the makeup go on smooth and i liked the hydrating primer during the winter from what i've seen and heard these primers can be really hit or miss depending on your own skin type so i would really recommend picking up like one or two during the sale spot test them first try them on like your jaw or your forehead see how your skin reacts to them and then try them all over your face I haven't had any bad reactions to any of their primers but i have heard some things so i mean it's always good like whenever you're trying a new product always test it out just always cover your bases because you don't want to try something new and put it like all over your face and then break out or like get all red and everything you, you don't want that the next product that i really recommend are their lip exfoliators i have three of them i have the lip exfoliator in rose and they're almost like bullet lipsticks where you open them up, you twist it up, and it's like a little exfoliating bullet. So I have the one in Rose, I have the one in Mint Maniac, and then I have their clear kind of general one where it doesn't really have a scent. I've used this one like halfway through. My favorites are the Rose and like the clear no scent one. These are best to use before you put any makeup on. If you do like your full face and then go to like exfoliate your lips, it's gonna get everywhere. It's a little bit messy. But if you use this clear, clean face, exfoliate your lips, rub it off, it leaves your lips so soft and they're really affordable. And I like that it's in the bullet because I do have some lip scrubs that are in tins and jars and I don't reach for them as much. If I'm trying to hurry up, if I'm trying to keep it neat, I'm gonna reach for a bullet, I'm gonna throw it on, wipe it off, and move on the next recommendation i have are their 10 pan eyeshadow palettes personally i only recommend some of the 10 pan palettes i've tried out some of their other eyeshadows none of them work as well as these ones these are the mad for matte series okay so i have all of them except for the original mad for matte one i first tried that one out and i really wasn't impressed with the quality or the formula it was patchy it didn't really blend out and that really turned me off from elf eyeshadows for almost a year and then this one came out the mad for matte 2 with these beautiful orange fall warm tones in here this one came out and i saw so many great reviews on it and so i finally went out and tried it the formula here is incredible they're creamy they blend out i love all of these shades you can get so many great looks out of this this side is neutral right here and then you have your berries and your oranges this orange is one of my favorite oranges of all time love it so just don't let yourself be fooled if you've only tried the first mad for matte because i think that one it doesn't represent the entire like mad for matte series if that makes sense so i really recommend mad for matte 2 these are all ten dollars so during the sale they'll only be five dollars the next one that i have is the mad for matte holy smokes i haven't gotten a whole lot of use out of this one as much as i have the other ones but i love this green and this blue right over here 
the majority of the palette is neutral so if you're a beginner and you're trying to get just into a smoky eye i think this is a great place to start still the same great formula as the mag for matte 2 it's got all the colors you need for a smoky eye and you get a lot of product in here and it's only like either ten dollars i think ten dollars is a steal for these so the fact that they're on sale for five is incredible the next one that i have is the everyday smoky palette this one is comparable to like your naked palette it's a true neutral palette you've got a nice mix of mattes and shimmers in here this is an excellent beginner just straight out beginner palette you have a whole lot of neutrals everything blends out really well honestly it's hard to mess up or to get a bad look out of this palette it's kind of foolproof really you can go from like your normal neutral eye just throw a shimmer like a light champagne on the lid and go out for your day you can get a whole lot of work appropriate looks out of this this is a perfect everyday work palette because you can use these lighter shades build up your outer v you can use the darker shades for liner you can build up just a little bit you don't want to get too smoky for work but this is just an amazing beginner everyday friendly palette and i really recommend this one now the last mad for matte palette that i have is the jewel pop this palette is beautiful honestly i think they could have like gotten rid of these three shades right here and thrown in like more colors but i understand where they're going they want you to be able to make a look out of this palette and if you're new to color you don't want to jump in i can see how it can be intimidating to jump in and do a full color look so you might want to start with like a light brown in the crease and then build it up maybe just do color on your lower lash line that's really cool too and this green this is an amazing green i love this green this green looks awesome on your lower lash line if you want to start there this was an excellent addition to the mad for matte line as you as you can see they filled like every niche that they needed to You've got your going out at night smoky palette. You've got your everyday smoky palette, your good everyday for work palette. You've got your nice warm, of course, they've got the warm neutrals palette that everybody loves. And then they came out with this like rainbow jewel pot palette. This is just a great line from e.l.f. It's really affordable. The quality is there and I really recommend you pick them up during the sale. The next product I highly recommend from e.l.f. are their highlighters. I have one of their $1 highlighters right here. This is the white pearl shade. So this is already only just a dollar. On the sale, it's 50 cents. 50 cents, you get a whole pan of product. I love this because it has a nice yellow undertone to it, which on my skin tone looks incredible. It's blinding. Highly, highly recommend this e.l.f. highlighter. The only thing is that the packaging can get a little wonky. You can definitely depot this if you're like determined. <laughs> uh, but I just keep it like this for convenience sake because I can tell it'd be just a little bit trouble to depot it but if you broke it you could probably depot it fairly easily of course the next highlighter that everybody recommends is their baked highlighter this is the one in moonlight pearls like everyone says you have to scrape off the top layer i went a little scrape heavy <laughs> and scraped off a lot of it yeah as you can see i went a little scrape happy and scraped everything off but after you scrape it all off it really is a stunning stunning highlight the one right there this is a perfect everyday highlight it might be a little shimmery but if you use a fluffy brush swirl it around tap off the excess you're golden i think these are only like three dollars so during the sale it's a dollar fifty i bought this over a year ago and i still have that much product left it's a lot of product and the last product that i would really recommend i'm technically cheating by calling it one product but they're kind of all within the same family are their little like four quad face powder so this is the tone correcting powder in cool as you can see there's like four different colors in here you swirl them around it has a light face setting powder i like to use this to set my under eye it's nice and bright like it looks like a natural bright it doesn't look too white under your eyes so this is a really great product highly recommend that one and then they also have their bronzers in like the same packaging and the same deal it's like four different colors you can mix together to make one this is the bronzer in cool they also have a bronzer in warm or so i've heard i've been looking for it everywhere i can only find it like on amazon being sold by some random people for like 20 dollars don't know what that's about 
but they have this one and then they have a warmer one but that's shimmery i'm not a huge fan of the shimmery one but this cool one is totally matte super pigmented you only need to like dab in there and do a little bit the tone is beautiful it looks great on my skin tone i just love everything about this you get a whole lot of product i think these are around five or six dollars cut that in half for the sale and if you like any of these products now would be the time to like stock up on them like definitely so those are all of my favorite elf products thank you so much for watching let me know down below what are your favorite elf products and are you going to be buying anything during this sale don't forget to subscribe before you leave today and hit that little bell icon so you're notified whenever i post a new video and i hope i'll see you in my next one bye